to get into this thing pretty quickly. We're going to go ahead and go over the implementation details. It looks like it wants us to bounce back and forth between app.py and then index and then index to app.py. So we're going to do it in the order that it's requested. The first thing it wants us to do is use our git from our web applications and our app.py. So add logic to git request handling to query birthdays.db database for all birthdays. Pass all of your data on index.html template. So let's take a look and see what that looks like here. We're going to go into our app.py here. And we're going to go to our first section here where it wants us to add the user's entry into the database. So we're going to go in here and I am just going to get rid of this for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an if request method is post. So we need to fulfill the items here. So let's get rid of that. Go here. So if request.method is equal to post. So we need name, we need month, and we need day, right? So name equals request um, dot form dot get. And that's going to be for the name. And we're going to do the same thing for the month and the day. So quote name. And then we're going to do month equal request dot form dot get and that one's gonna be month and then we're gonna do day request dot form dot get and that one's gonna be day and before our return redirect here we need to update so let's put a little note in here let's put insert info into database table. So now that we've used the get for name, month, and day, now we need to database.execute. And now we're going to insert into birthdays. And we're going to do the name, we're going to do the month, and we're going to do the day. And once we have those, the values are going to be, and you're just going to put colon name, and then you can do colon month, and then you can do colon day. And now we can close that out, close that out, end our quote there, put a comma, and then we need to set one more thing here. We're going to do after db execute, we're going to do, looks like I'm missing, oh, I have one too many. Give me one second. You see a little red underline there? We're going to update that while we're going along. That should be good right there. Okay, so after DB execute, we're going to go right down here and we're going to do make sure you tab these out right. So this one's going to be under the insert right here. So you're going to do name equal name, month equal month, day equal day, and then you can close that out. There we go. Now all of our uh, parentheses line up. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and return redirect, and that's going to be lined up under the DB execute there. And it looks like it wants us to update our index.html before we do this else. So I guess let's hop into index.html and do that. For index, it wants us to add logic to render each birthday as a row in the table. Each row should have two columns, one column for the person's name and another column for the person's birthday. So getting into that. We're going to go here to add a birthday. So all we're going to do here is it looks like we're just going to create a form. So let's go ahead and do under H2 here. We're going to create the HTML form. So form method equal post. Oops. Okay, perfect. It put it in quotes for me. Good. Equal post. And then action equals, and we're going to do slash, I don't know why it kicked me out of that, so slash, and first we need the name input, right, so label for name, good, and it's just going to be name, and then close that label out, slash label, and then br, and that's going to be input type. It's going to be text. We're just going to put all these in text where the ID is equal to name and the name is equal to name. 
And this keeps kicking me out on these quotes. I don't know why. So keep an eye on that. And this is just ID equals name and then name equals name. And then close that out. And then BR. Let's actually move these out to where they're supposed to be. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to copy and paste. Except all we're going to do now is so instead of name on this next one, we're just going to put month and then we're going to put day. So month. I'm going to change each one that says name to month. Except the one that right here says name because that means what we're actually calling it. So month. And then we're going to do day on this one. ID is going to be day. And name is going to be day. So now we have the post method for name, month, and day. And let's just update these real quick. Month, and then day. And then we need to make a submit button. So in this one, we're just going to do one more input. And the input type is going to be submit. Submit. And then the value is going to be capital submit and that quote there close that out and then we're going to go back one space here slash form well no we already have the div we need slash form close that out nope that doesn't go there I don't know why this keeps trying to move these things for me should be right there perfect I've been looking for why that label was read up there and that has to do with my action sequence here. I forgot to close that out and it automatically closed form for me. It's doing a lot of these things on its own so keep an eye out for them. So now this is what we should have. So we have the name, month, day, and submit. And we've named those name, month, day, and the value in all of them is text. So it's not going to be like a drop down or anything like this. This is me a very basic what month is it? You type in the month. What's your name? You type in your name. And then submit is just going to be a submit button. So then it wants us to go when the slash route request is requested via post, which we already have, your app application should add a new birthday to your database, then re render that index page. First, in index.html, add an HTML form, which we did. The form should let users type in a name, a birthday month, and a birthday day. Before, Be sure the form submits slash to its action with a method of post, which we did. We have the action here. And the method is post. And this says add logic to render each birthday as a row in the table. Each row should have two columns, one for the person's name and one for the person's birthday. So we're going to put this one down here under all birthdays. After name and birthday, we're going to go in the T body here. This is going to be our Python code here. So, for, so it's going to be percent, and it's going to be four row in rows, and percent, and close that out. We're going to do TR here. Whoops. TR. And we're going to do TD. And we're going to do two of these. And it's going to be row.name. And close that out. And then backslash TD. This automatic filling in is driving me bonkers. TD. And we're going to do two of these again. And it's going to be row.month. And slash row.day and we're going to close this out oh my god what on earth I'm going to close this out all right <laughs> close our tr here and before the end of t body we're going to do our percent and for percent and then curly brace and make sure there's a space here and there should be a, all these automatic adjustments made all these things impossible so make sure you have the right spaces here so there should be a space before and after row dot day row dot name row dot month so we have a row for name a row for month and a row for day 
Let's make sure that's what it wanted us to do. One for the person's name and another for the person's birthday. So we have row for their name and then it's going to be month and year, right? Or month and day. So we created those two rows there by doing this here. One row for the name, one row for the month and day, which is subsequently the birthday. And this is supposed to be end for, not EOD for. All right, so now we've got that updated a little bit backwards, and I apologize. The jumping back and forth is a little confusing, but now we have to go back into app.py. Add the logic to post your request, handling, and insert the new rows and birthdays. So we're going to go back to app.py here, and we're going to display the entries in the database on the index.html. So all we're going to do for else is, I don't, there's a lot of space here. I don't think we need that space. So we're just going to do else, and we're going to do uh, rows. And it's going to be equal to the db execute, db.execute. And that's going to be for select, a little bit of a SQL query here, right? And then star, and it's going to be from birthdays. Close that out. Close that out. And looks like I forgot the quote under select. So let's, there we go. Select from birthdays. And then we need to render the index.html template, but we're passing the rows now as variables. So this is partly right. So return render template index.html. And the only other thing we're going to add here is going to be rows equal rows. And then let's see how, God, extra things here. So let's see how we did. So let's do CD birthdays. I'm going to do flask run, and we're going to open this website. All right, so we've got some extra slashes here for Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Let me see if I can find those real quick. That should be this right here. Let's go back and refresh this. There we go. Got rid of those extra slashes there. Now, they have theirs in number format, so you could just put George and you could either put the month or you could put the number it looks like we're doing a number theme here so let's just do eight and pick a day 16 and then click submit now when birthdays renders we should be able to find George there on 816 sorry about that let me squeeze this over here so you can see it a little bit better so there's George on 816 right there so that's it. Birthdays, add a birthday, name, month, day. We have all of that in there. And then once that birthday is added, the table is updated and gives us our name over here. And then the month and day, just as we programmed it to do so over here. Name, month, and day. So we have two rows for that. Everything looks good. Everything should be as they asked for. So let's take a quick look here. And it doesn't look like there's a check 50 for this one here. So going to be a little bit up in the air on it. Now this does do what it was designed to do. We updated the app.py with a get function. We updated the index giving the name, the month and year. We did that third instead of second. And then we did the third thing here. We did that second instead of third. And then we did the fourth thing fourth. So that's all fine. You can still add the ability to delete or edit birthdays and add any additional features of your choosing. Remember you can also go into your CSS file if, and you can change the positions of the containers you can change the background color of the body all sorts of things can be changed in here if you do change them you can refresh that on the fly so you'll see what you know these backgrounds change to and whatnot oh also real quick it looks like I spelt submit wrong hopefully you guys caught that while you were doing it so I'm just go back into index and I'm gonna change mine real quick and MIT and then we're gonna go back to my page here and refresh it. Flask is still running, so now submit comes out right. So now we're going to cancel Flask. Going to clear out my terminal. That's it. You're all set. This is week nine. That was birthdays. I'm Devin. You are awesome. If you have any questions, hit me up. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord if you need more direct attention. I'm happy to help you out. We'll see you soon.